everyone and welcome back to day 43, 44 of our art journal project. Today I was at a wedding shower for some dear friends of ours and uh, the theme was Mexican. It was so much fun. They had a pinata, they had Mexican games. This is one of the beautiful napkins they had. The food was all Mexican. It was just so much fun. It was just, I love showers because they have games and I'm one of those rare people that loves shower games. But anyway, when I saw this napkin, I don't know why, but it reminded me of Frida Kahlo. So I said to my daughter, you know what my art journal page today is going to be? It's going to be Frida Kahlo. So I'm going to use this napkin and incorporate it into my art journal page today. So this this lighter background is going to be um, the background. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it. But that's what I'm doing today, paying homage to Frida Kahlo. So here's how my background looks. I just piecemeal the napkin on there and you're probably wondering why didn't I just put the whole piece of the napkin down because I wanted to use the three yellow poppies that were on the napkin because Frida always had three flowers in her hair on the top of her head and so I took this stamp here and I just stamped portions of it so I gotta manipulate with it and so I'm just starting and then I drew her eyebrows in and I'm just going to paint in her face and all that stuff. And hopefully she will look like Frida Kahlo when I'm done. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I love manipulating these stamps. It's really fun to do. So here's my Frida Kahlo so far. Check out those eyebrows. And I braided her hair. But I just want to show you how you can use your rubber stamps in a gazillion ways. Because this looks absolutely nothing like that but yet that's the base from which I took this you see that so you can switch their faces up and use them for other people I love doing that it's such a challenge to how to make it into a different being you know so I'm just cutting out her flowers for her hair now and I'm gonna get her old Judy done Okay, so here's what's left over from my napkin I got at the Mexican shower today. And that's what inspired me to do Frida Kahlo. So here is my Frida. So it, her flowers, I put that glossy stuff. It's called, hang on, pearly pin. Yeah, pearly pin. That's what's up on her flower to give it a little bit of glisten. And then I had some charms in the house and some bread, so I gave her, because Frida loved her earrings. Of course, we all know she had those eyebrows. And the back of the page, the background, is the napkin. And I put a little gesso so that Frida would pop off of that bold printed page. I painted her dress blue and her color green, and I used watercolor crayons throughout. And my quote for this page, I wanted to use a quote of Frida Kahlo's. And it says, Feet, what do I need you for if I have wings to fly? Frida Kahlo. So I took, I had a plastic doily in the house in my craft stuff. So I made a wing with my die cut and another one over here. And I just trimmed it to fit so that her she has got these pretty lacy wings and they almost look like a spanish mantilla a shawl and but they're actually wings so that is my page and page 44 i really like this page i always wanted to do frida kahlo and i love how she turned out i really really do i think she looks really well that's way better you can see her the light's not glaring so there she is Frida, an amazing artist. There's a really good movie on about her life, which is so, so good. I watched it again a couple of months ago. It's really, really good. So, yeah, so Richard has begun. Um, what are you doing, Richard? Doing something from our trip to Salt Spring Island. Oh, it looks like a barn or a building or something. Do you know where that is? That's the... Um over we docked. Oh, 
at the pier, long, long something pier, or long something wharf or something. Is it? Is that the one that had all the shops? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna hand the camera over to Richard, and um, he will close us out, and we will say adios to Senorita Frida Kahlo, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Hi folks, I'm back with my drawing. I'm working on it right now. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a scene from Salt Spring Island when we were there this past year. And so I will be um, first doing a pencil drawing, quick sketch of it. And then I'm going to ink it in with... Um, drawing ink and then I'm going to add some color to it um, the building itself probably will be in red according to what the picture looks like and yeah just I'll give you an example our um, play by play I guess you might say maybe I'll just let you see what I'm doing first with the pencil and then I will show you as I add ink to the pencil drawing. And then I'll show you as I add the color. Okay. Hi. This is the inking part of the drawing now. I um, What I use, use is the uh, font, sort of a fountain pen. Um, I'll show you. This is the pen that I use. That's the pen. And uh, and the ink, it is, this is the ink. Okay. And so I dip it in and then I follow the lines that I've drawn in pencil, but I don't totally follow it. I just use it as a guide and I can actually add more detail. The pencil was just a, sort of a rough. And then I go into, I can do more detailing with the ink. So that's the process. My process, I should say. So here is the finished ink drawing uh, after I showed you going over the pencil. This is the this is as much as I'm going to do with it anyways. So now I'm going to start adding color to it. So now I'm adding color to the um, drawing, quickly putting watercolor on it and um, see what happens. I'm so tired today, but that's the way it is. When you're doing a 100, and 100 day challenge, tired or not, you got to do it. So. Here it is, working on it. Here's the color now. Hi everyone, this is the final piece um, from pencil, ink, and then the water uh, color on top. I use actually, I, I tried to use pencil watercolors, but that didn't work out too well. So I ended up using the actual watercolor out of the tube. And then it, it's, it was bleeding into the black. So then I thought, oh, okay, they're both doing it. It's not dry enough, but that's okay. You're never going to get perfection every time you do something. So, and it's fun. So here it is, the final piece. Mm -hmm.